Welcome to our lecture online. In the previous video, we discovered that regardless how the impedances in the circuit are connected, either in parallel, in series, or in any combination thereof, we found that the power, the complex power, of each of the impedances, if we add them all up, we get the same as the total power provided by the source. We mean the complex power. So we knew that the total complex power provided to the circuit by the source is equal to the sum of the individual complex powers on each of the impedances, regardless how the circuit is set up. And that the same, in the same way, we can say the same for the total real power and the total Q, the reactive power. In other words, the total power provided by the circuit, by the source in the circuit, is going to be equal to the sum of all the powers dissipated by any of the real parts of any of the impedances, and we know that the total reactive power provided by the source is simply going to be equal to the sum of all the reactive powers of each of the individual impedances. That's really amazing. Well, actually it's not so amazing when you think about it, because if you deliver a certain amount of power, then that power is going to be consumed by the individual impedances, and it doesn't matter where they are in the circuit. It's simply an algebraic sum, which makes it really easy. And it's that way for the total complex power, for the real power, and for the reactive power. And that's a really handy tool to have in your back pocket in case we ever deal with a circuit where we know the individual powers, then we can go ahead and find the total power dissipated by simply adding up all the powers. And so knowing that, we're going to show you some examples of how to implement that in a very nice way. And that's how it's done.